right, welcome back to the channel, cyborgpirate.com. Happy to have you on board. Thanks for viewing. Don't forget to like and share. Subscribe if you're not a current member of our community, which we would love to have you. Here we do reviews on UTV, accessories, shops, and also uh, maintenance. We also do reviews on maritime or marine use of different fuels, different cleaners, maintenance items, things like that. And of course, don't forget our big one, which is the scuba diving community and the reviews on scuba gear, shops, boats, and dive ops. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a remote grease fitting for those of you that have installed the shock therapy, uh, the, the shock therapy sway, sway bar and the frame supports, which again, this is on a 2014 XP4 1000. If you are running an uh, XP 1000 or a Turbo 1000, highly recommend the frame supports and also the shock therapy sway bar. You may run an Eibach or a number of other different types, which are all, all uh, gonna be better sway bars than the stock. However, we run the shock therapy. We'll be doing review on shock therapy here to, to come. But what we're gonna be reviewing or uh, talking about is my own personal uh, remote grease fitting. And as you can see, there it is right there. So a little bit of background on this. Shock Therapy makes the adjustable sway bar and they also have their new mounts for it. It's a much larger diameter, fantastic sway bar, highly recommended it. But the Zerk or the grease fittings that they put on there, they put them in a much easier accessible place. On the stock razor setup, that fitting is up here. You actually have to remove the firewall from the inside to get to those fittings. Well, every time you take your vehicle in for service and they're supposed to do all the grease fittings, I'm not sure that that's what they're actually doing. A lot of squeaking, a lot of rubbing, things like that, that bushings wearing out and that's because of lack of lubrication from grease. So shock therapy in their design, they actually put a grease fitting on the back of their, uh, on the back of their sway bar mount itself. So they did a, a great job with it. I'm gonna see if I can get in there and show you actually where that fitting would have been. There it is right there. So here's the shock therapy mount. Here's where the grease fitting went into the mount. This is a fantastic design. However, if you buy their additional product of the frame mount or the frame support, which again, highly recommended, especially if you're running a Razor Turbo or an XP1000, these need to be beefed up a little bit. They tear tabs all the time. Having these frame supports rectifies that and gets that away from you. But installing that makes getting to that grease fitting very difficult. So that's where we've come along and we have designed our own remote fitting. So these products, here it is right here. Let's see if we get a good shot of it. We'll get on the tire actually. So this is a fitting, a remote grease fitting. This is the 12 inch fitting from Lock and Lube. Now, when you go to lockandlube.com and you are looking at their uh, different fittings for the remote grease fittings, very nice, uh, nicely put together. 5,000 PSI operating pressure, which you're not going to be putting anything close to 5,800 or 5,000 PSI pressure on there. Excuse me, it is a 5,800 PSI. And it has 13,775 PSI for burst pressure. Your grease gun is not gonna do anything anywhere near that. So that's not gonna be an issue for you to run into. Very high quality fittings, the way they put them together. So when you're selecting the fittings that go with this, this comes together as a kit. I used the 45 degree fitting, and this is a one quarter inch thread that's on there. So the fitting itself, I went with the 45 degree angle. They do offer a 90 degree or a straight. I went with the 45. I did order the 90 degree in case the 45 didn't fit correctly, and I was much happier with the way the 45 went in there. On the other end, comes with the grease fitting itself, the actual Zerk fitting. What I also did is I ordered an additional 90 with 1 8 inch national pipe thread to 
fit between these two. And if you notice, there's that fitting right there. Now on the shock therapy sway bar or uh, frame support, this tab right here comes with it. It's, it's already installed. And what this is designed for is when you are, if you are someone who does rock crawling, then this may not be the, the setup for you because this link right here, the way shock therapy tells you to use it, is they tell you to disconnect one or both of them from the trailing arm and it will actually move that sway bar up and out of the way and bolt to this tab. Just moves it out of the way so you don't have to remove the link completely and it also keeps that sway bar from flopping around. Again, that's for you rock crawling guys. So this may not be the option for you. Just something to keep in mind. But I've done this remote grease fitting for myself and a couple of other buddies now and it has worked fantastic. It's easy to get in there, easy to grease using the lock and lube uh, 12 inch remote fitting or remote uh, hose. Also, I use the lock and lube grease gun nozzle, which I will uh, do a review on lock and lube itself here coming up, but uh, makes greasing and getting your hose off and on the, the fitting there much easier, one-handed use, not fighting with it to try to get it on or off or losing a lot of grease uh, wasted spewed outside the Zerk itself. But that's the remote grease fitting brought to you by Cyborg Pirate. If you have any questions, please feel free to post and I'll answer in the comments. I will leave the link for lock and lube and the fittings in the description. Thanks again for viewing. Please subscribe if you're not a member of our community, like and share the videos. And once again, have fun, ride safe. And thanks again from Cyborg Pirate, cyborgpirate.com. Have a great day.